Moody's Investor Services cut India's sovereign credit rating by a notch to the lowest investment grade with negative outlook. That's not good news. It says that the Indian economy will face a prolonged period of slower growth amid a stressed financial system and rising debt. So these are very strong commentary that needs to be taken note of. Moody's downgraded India's credit rating to BAA3 from BAA2. Now, as part of the economic package, both the Reserve Bank of India and the government have announced a slew of measures to infuse liquidity in the NVC sector. But going by the commentary, Moody's doesn't expect these measures to resolve problems in the sector and sees further stress in asset quality in the financial sector. Let's look at a few numbers. India's fiscal deficit in FY20, that is the year that just ended in, in March 2020, 20 widened to 4.6% of GDP against the budgeted 3.8%. India's gross domestic product or GDP grew 3.1% in real terms or inflation adjusted terms during January, March this year. It could get worse as restrictions and lockdowns continue to constrain people's movement, severely hurting economic activity. Please remember one thing. The nationwide lockdown kicked in from March 24, and its actual impact on the economy will show up only in the subsequent months. That is the month beginning April, when businesses screeched to a standstill. COVID-19 induced disruptions appear to have devastated the broader economy, pummeled by collapsing household spending and shuttered businesses that are battling to stay afloat. We hear every day, we hear of stories where MSMEs and small factories are actually struggling with cash flow uh, problems, with no liquidity, etc. So India probably is now staring at the possibility of slipping into a full-blown recession. And if it happens, it's going to be the first time in 41 years. So what is a recession? A recession takes place when there is negative growth or GDP, real GDP growth that contracted successively in two consecutive quarters. Both Fitch ratings and Standard & Poor's have the lowest investment grade rating with stable out for outlook for India at present. That's again a, a little worrisome, isn't it? Modi, Moody said, although rating upgrade is unlikely in the near future, it would change the outlook on India's rating to stable if policy actions were to raise confidence that will rise to substantially higher rates. So what does it mean? The mean it means the onus on a policy revision and an upgrade uh, of, of an outlook revision to stable by Moody's clearly depends on what policy action and the pace at which these reforms are taken by the government. The rating agency has also said that while the latest rating action is taken in the context of the coronavirus pandemic, in the sense that it has taken it has the action has come in, in the middle of the pandemic. The outlook, the commentary and the action itself, the rating downgrade itself was not driven by the impact of pandemic. These are significant remarks because this criticism, this is a criticism, a kind of criticism on the government's reforms approach so far, or it is, it is, it is not, it is not a very, very good rating of the government's reform report card. Moody's has taken note of India's slow reform progress and consistent decline in growth even before COVID-19 attacked the economy. Does this mean, therefore, that more rating actions will follow once the impact of pandemic plays out in the Indian economy? Well, that's the key question markets and analysts will keep a close eye on.